Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 5 of the most controversial myths throughout history. So before starting this video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. The United States of America has been at the head of the table in comparison to other countries for as far back as any man or woman can remember. Known for its historical personalities, tech innovations, baseball, and none other than good old Hollywood. Now we'll look at a few of America's biggest myths. Number 5, Benjamin Franklin and the National Bird. The Great Seal of America was chosen in 1782, with the bald eagle front and center. Since then, a rumor has persisted that Benjamin Franklin actually wanted the wild turkey to become the national bird. There is actually some truth to the story. Franklin thought that the design for the eagle in the original seal looked more like a turkey. He then proceeded to compare the two. Franklin didn't like the bald eagle, considering it a bird of bad moral character for its tendency to steal food from other birds. He thought that, by comparison, the turkey was a more courageous and respectable bird, despite looking a little vain and silly. So it's true that Franklin preferred the turkey over the eagle. However, this opinion was never made public. He simply wrote it in a letter to his daughter. He did make an official suggestion for the seal though, a scene between Moses and the Pharaoh. Number 4. Wall Street Suicides Supposedly, the Wall Street crash of 1929 was so bad that numerous bankers, brokers and others working in the financial district suddenly found themselves penniless. Out of desperation, they all started jumping out of windows. This is more or less a myth. The suicide rate for New York in the months following the crash went down which, actually, is quite common after a tragic event. Several prominent figures did commit suicide during that time, but it wasn't by jumping out windows. In fact, between October 1929 when the crash happened and the end of the year, only two such suicides were recorded on Wall Street. Number 3. Signing the Declaration of Independence. Every year, Americans celebrate Independence Day on July 4, the day the Founding Fathers signed the Declaration of Independence. But this is politics, nothing gets solved in just one day. July 4, 1776 is actually the date when the Declaration was ratified. The process actually started on July 1 when the Second Continental Congress convened in Philadelphia. The next few days were spent going over the original draft of the Declaration written by Thomas Jefferson. Eventually, the Declaration was signed on August 2 ND, mostly. Five delegates actually signed at a later date and two never signed at all. Number 2. Columbus Discovery of America. How this European explorer still gets all the credit, and even his own holiday, is astonishing. Let's start with the basics. You can't discover something that's already occupied. That's like discovering the leftover pizza in your friend's refrigerator. But even if you discount the Native Americans, Columbus was still 500 years too late to call himself the first European to think America was his personal Costco. Norse explorer Leif Erikson beat him to the punch, landing on these shores during the 10th century. What's more, Columbus didn't even set foot on what would become the United States. He landed on several Caribbean islands, and later Central and South America. Number 1. War of the Worlds. We've all heard the story of how Orson Welles once did a radio show covering H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. Supposedly, people thought that it was real and that Earth was being invaded and mass panic ensued. Well, there is some truth to that. Some people did mistake the show as a genuine report, but the extent of the problem was greatly exaggerated because not that many people were listening to the show in the first place. The broadcast didn't have a large audience, and it was in a very competitive time slot, going against much more popular shows. Furthermore, several CBS affiliates chose to replace the broadcast when it originally aired, and there were also notices proclaiming the story to be fictional during each commercial break. In other words, very few people were actually fooled, but the event still received a ton of coverage and the myth is widely believed to this day. Why? Because of newspapers. Back then there was a fierce rivalry between newspapers and radio, old and new, and many journalists jumped at the opportunity to make radio seem foolish, even dangerous. What did you think about this video? 
Which of the following myths did you find most interesting? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.